Hello the internet. It is Thursday the 24th of August 2017. I'm back up in Sydney after the madness that was TGE in Melbourne with Jedboards. And oddly enough, I'm heading into the city to catch up with Jeremy from Jedboards. You met Jeremy, he's the man behind the Jedboard. He lives in Singapore, but he's from Sydney. So we're gonna catch up and have a couple of homebrews down by the harbor. Mind you, it's a cold, windy day here in Sydney. While we're here on Janali Station, quick update on the progress of the new overpass that's happening. Remember one time I was down here and I was talking about these things and I was saying, are they gonna be permanent? Is this concrete monstrosity gonna be permanent? I think it is. Let's hope that uh, somehow they make some kind of artwork on there or something, because that just looks hideous. Before we get to the city and catch up with Jeremy, NSD. Two jackets to get off here. NSD this episode is Blackstone Cherry. Kentucky band from the States, from Kentucky. I didn't know anything about this band beforehand, but we did a tour in 2000 and, it's either 2014 or 2015. Six or seven shows in Europe. And I'm gonna show you some photos from Germany, in Italy, and in Switzerland. If you like Blackstone Cherry and you like these photographs I've taken of Blackstone Cherry, you can use the coupon code, gives a minute hyphen, Blackstone Cherry, all one word, all uppercase. The link where you use that will be in the description of this video and you can get 15% off all kinds of prints from these photos I've taken of Blackstone Cherry. So the idea was that we'd come down to a particular scenic part of Sydney, but it is very, very windy here today. The water's just here and here. Got a couple of sneaky homebrews, but as you can see, Jeremy's driving, so he can only have one. This is Berry Island Reserve. We've got a spot here to sit and chill with a homebrew. Probably not the greatest weather conditions, but you know what? You get what you're given and you deal with it, don't you? That's yours, Jeremy. Oh, we get you. Cheers. As you would have seen on my last three sets of vlogs, I was in Melbourne for TGE. Thanks to this man with jet boards, this is Jeremy. Jeremy, how did, how did you go down there? Amazing. The feedback we had was uh, was really invaluable. It was great to get firsthand what people really thought. Given us a lot of insight into you know, the, the good and the bad uh, of, of the product. It's positive and really exciting. For me, the first time riding a jet board, you saw my excitement on the Friday night, then you saw me explaining what I think uh, is important in electric skateboard and what Jeremy's boards actually do and how they address that and then you also saw complete random strangers saying the exact same thing so I'm gonna wrap up the the jet board um, TGE experience thanks for having me down there in Melbourne Cheers. while we're sitting here debriefing after TGE this is the last day that gives a minute my YouTube channel is part of the MCN known as Broadband Television. And I've mentioned this to the givers before. I signed up with a network because I thought that this network, Broadband Television, could increase my channel and give me a good steady growth. The truth of the matter is, Broadband Television did absolutely nothing for my channel at all. And I am so glad to be exiting that contract as of today. And my advice to anyone on YouTube that has a channel to absolutely avoid an MCN. The MCM is a multi-channel network in case you weren't sure what that, that term meant. The way these people work is that they prey on small channels, which I am, and they 
sign up many, 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 many of these channels and they take off a percentage and they lock you into a contract. Now I'm lucky I negotiated my contract and I said, no, I'm gonna do one year with you and then I'm gonna reevaluate. And I also negotiated the terms. They wanted 60, 40, I said, no, 70, 30. They take 30% of my earnings and I take 70. As of tomorrow, I take 100% of my earnings and I am so thankful to be gone from them because literally they've done nothing. All my growth on my channel has been from what I've done. So broadband television, adios and thanks for nothing. And I also wanna add right here in, in this juncture that if you are thinking of supporting my channel in any other way, aside from subscribing and making comments, which I love what all the givers do, you can also become a Patreon and I'll put a little link up here. You can become a Patreon at Patreon. It's a little bit confusing. When you sign up there, you become a patron of my Patreon. Now that I'm a free agent, I just wanted to say hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the more homebrew. Yeah! Cheers, come on. <laughs> the cold and the wind has got to us. We sat there for a while, but it, it's... It's not that great. It's winter in Australia. Nice spot though, Berry Island Reserve. Berry, Berry Island? Berry, Berry Island Reserve. I want to come back here when it's not windy and it's not cold and... It's nice when it's not so windy and cold and... Your ass feels like it's frozen to a rock. How was the homebrew, Jeremy? Fantastic. I want another one. I did give Jeremy a couple of homebrews to take back to Singapore because I know that he's going to enjoy them more so when it's not freezing cold and windy. Absolutely. Good to see you again, man. You too. We're out of time! <laughs> <laughs> not yet, we're not. This is not seeing Sydney suburbs. This is just me in McMahon's Point after I've said farewell to Jeremy. We have a spectacular view from here. I want to go closer to that bridge and showcase the Sydney Harbour in all its beauty for you. Could this be another one of Sydney's secret hidden garden areas? Possibly. Let's inquisit. What did I just say? Did I just say let's inquisit? <laughs> it's not a word. I'm pretty sure I meant let's be inquisitive. But I do like let's inquisit. I feel like I'm in the same area that I took Jordan Pike when we uh, sat in the secret garden of Sydney that just kind of feels like this space by the way if you haven't seen that vlog and you want to see uh, Jordan Pike in Sydney check out Jordan's channel in specific check out this vlog here I'm pointing at it with my head and that has to be one of the most scenic Piers, jetties, wharfs. Three different words to describe the same thing. It's either a jetty, wharf, pier. Depending on where you live, where you're from, how you talk. One of the things it is, it's a structure of wood going out into water. In this instance, it goes out to the Sydney Harbour. And what a harbour we have here. That is a sunset on Sydney Harbour. Not technically a sunset, we didn't actually see a sun setting the fact that we're looking at the sydney harbour bridge kind of makes up for any ominous it's a spectacular scene the rest of the world comes here to see this and it's my city i live here while i was standing here waiting for this sunset to happen i noticed this boat right on the other side turn around and have a look at this that boat there very very close to this wharf now the question i have i'm not a sailor i do watch sailing the vagabond my question is how come that boat doesn't swing across and smack into that wharf. From what I can tell, it has a single anchor point going down into the water, but the boat's moving willy-nilly like a fish. A gentleman came past in a little rubber dinghy, and you might have seen him in my time-lapse. <laughs> Turns out he owns both of these boats in this mooring, and I've asked him the same question. He said to me, jump in the rubber dinghy and I'll explain to you and show you how these anchors work. So let's go and do that now. Oh, that's um, we're out of time! What? I know, I know, I can't believe it either. I keep running out of time on my vlog. But seriously, if you dig the vibe, please subscribe. You can check out my previous vlog here and a random vlog there. And if you like taking photographic photos on a photographic camera, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets here.